Well, we're ready, steady, go. It's Reverend Lovejoy. This will be the last time we talk about an episode about Reverend Lovejoy, and then when he, when we do other stuff, he'll be off the screen. This is one with Jessica Lovejoy. Um, I guess the start of this episode was when Bart, Lisa, and the rest of the kids were playing of cowboys and Indians on a Sunday before church, but all the parents find them and take them to church against their will. Together, let us spread the word of God. Anyway. Follow me, and ye shall be saved. So anyway, we actually get introduced to Reverend Lovejoy's daughter, Jessica. They're trying to make the sermon sound better. So anyway, um, he does his that, and Bart is submitted with Jessica Lovejoy. But then he learns a secret about her, is that she's wicked. Uh, anyway. And they went forth into the world and they were happy. Now that was Hello, Sam. Nice to see you today. How did you do, Reverend? Can't wait for your next sermon. How did you all there? Take me to the shopping mall. I gotta go to work at the Leptorium. Do not worry, my child. That doesn't look good. So anyway, we learned that Jessica is just as bad and her parents totally ignore anyone saying that she's a bad child. Bart. So anyway, we learned that, you know, Jessica dares Bart to do everything and even helps him pull down the fire escape. So basically, she's doing all this stuff and she can't escape. And she can escape punishment because Go in So anyway. Come and ride in the Lord chariot. So anyway, um Lisa tries to tell Bart to give her up. All that. So anyway. So Monday, she said, oh, you know what, fine. You take her to the mall. Well, he's got a wee bit of shopping to do. Have no fear. God will protect us. Now yeah, it's in the mall. Going One thousand buckles. Forty jokes. Welcome, my child. Take me to baseball, time. I got a lot of money riding on a game. Patience, friend. So anyway, we were, so anyway, Bart decides to break it out to Jessica, and at the same time, Jessica steals from the collection plate during Sunday's sermon, and of course she leaves Bart to take the blame. Nobody believes Bart at all. Not even Homer, for obvious reasons. So anyway. Praise be the glory of God. No splash. You suck. Good Lord, it's Homer Simpson. May the angels protect me. Angels? Where? Okay. Regardless, um, so Lisa tries to get Re Jessica to take him back, but she's smugly said, but smugly denies everything. Game over. 
7,000 bucks though. This is a sign from God. So anyway, we do learn that through the mob mentality, they were forced to set up Jessica's room and they find all this collection money. Urban Lovejoy tries to pin the, the blame on Bart by putting the money in Jessica's room, but Jessica says it was her classic thing for attention, hey, hey, and basically, insane. when she tries to tell Urban Lovejoy, her father, why she got kicked out of boarding school, he won't have any of it. He pretends not to hear and all that. So anyway, we're ready to go, and it will be Apu. Do we'll be doing the stuff for Apu. I'll be watching. I guess go to the right. No, the left. Sorry. Must admit, the smell of fresh air is much more pleasing than the odor of the hot dog machine. Hello, Mrs. Simpson. Welcome to my humble automobile. Mmm, smells like chocolate. I need to get to the community center right away. Is okay with me. Well, well, I the passenger. You're our regular Jeff Gordon. Homer. Hello, Mr. Homer. It is good to see you. And it's good to see you, my price jacking friend. Well, it's about time. Get ready for the light of your life. Thank you. So, Bye. this episode was Homer and a poo. Homer gets sick twice from food that a poo is Homer. Homer. So basically, then Lisa tells Homer again. Hello, faithful customer. Apu, the only thing that would make me happier is if you had fried chicken in there. You don't, do you? This is quite an right away. If I'm late, you'll have me eliminated. Here we go. Thank you. Come again. Way to ignore the speed limit. Get in the car, please. I have many places to go today. Can you take me to the power plant? The sound of the power generators comforts me. Get ready for the light of your life. Take a penny, leave a penny. Oh, are we here already? The meter has been running since I saw you. Hi, Billy. All there. Take me to the shopping mall. I gotta go to work at the leptorium. That is okay with me. I missed the cutoff. Oh, jeez, I went the wrong way. I'll have to take the stream. Yeah, I'm not going to make any time. I'm just going to... You have a nice day now. That was terrible. I'm having so much fun. Warp speed. That is okay with me. But anyway, here we go. So, Homer and Apu. So, thanks to Camp Rock for investigative journalism, Apu is found to have really served bad food. So, anyway. So, anyway, Homer... So anyway, Homer goes was on a poop. Quickie Mart people get mad at Homer. I mean, a poop. Not because he served them bad food, but because he didn't explain, he didn't put a scapegoat. You have to get a scapegoat. So anyway. Come again. Much better. The meter has been running since I saw you. Why did I do that? That was just terrible, wasn't it? But that was going to give me five seconds. Take a penny, leave a penny. See you around. Where's that? Give me a ride. I just got clown jacked. Hey, hey. So, regardless. Shut up and drive. So, a poo tells home. So basically, without a job, a poo feels useless. James Switch even gets a chance. I don't know. So anyway, a poo ends up trying to get revenge on Homer for busting his job, but he couldn't bear to strangle Homer. So anyway, he decides to. Yeah. Are you even watching the road? Are you trying to get us killed? Now I must hurry to 
the next customer. See you around, brother. Get in the car, please. I have many places to go today. I need to get to the community center right away. Here we go. Okay, five seconds. Yeah, well, honored passenger. Nice riding with you. Got it. Here we go. Vishnu, here I come. Hi, Alpine. Let's do this thing. Can you take me to the cooling towers? So anyway, so while living with the Simpsons, he basically, while over the Simpsons with his charm and all that, Five seconds. Get ready for the ride of your life. Another satisfied customer. Thank you. Krusty. Hello there, Krusty. I do not have dirty magazines with me, but you can pick them up at the store anytime. <laughs> Pornography page. Now I must hurry to the next customer. Oh, got it. <laughs> Get it faster than Joey Henderson. The meter has been running since I saw you. Do you have my pills? Here we go. Hurry up, my love, young. You have well, to me. come again. I'm taking it in with quick like this. I am having so much fun. Hi, Diddly. Oh, there. Take me to the shopping mall. Huh? Gotta go to work at the left orient. That is okay with me. Can I get there in time? Okay. You have a nice day now. Ah! I goofed! I could have got $10,000. So anyway, um, Apu sings a song about who needs the quickie mark. But it ends up that he lies to Homer and the family through song. And Homer doesn't like that. So Homer, so Homer decides to accompany Apu to India to get his job back. And then the head of the Quick Mart says, you can ask me three questions. And Homer asks, are you really the head of Quick Mart? Yes. Really? Yes? For sure? Yes. And those is the three questions. So basically, Homer blew it for Apu. But thanks to Apu saving James Woods from injury, well, we're young. Dave Woods gives him the job back at the booking mart. Con College. This is the con college. Krusty is accused of blowing his money on a lot of things. He even smokes up some, some, a, a priceless necklace and even a Superman number one saying, he sends flies to be up his grave even though she's not dead at the time of the episode. And he wants to buy a new house because his uh, old one's dirty. Good day. Another set of irradiated passengers. Anyway. Excellent. Uh, Here we go. I hope nobody pukes in the car again. Yuck. Welcome, friends. Oh, I got enough of those kids. Good old Krusty. Hey. So anyway, Krusty is forced to do a plan call so he can franchise himself. Maybe get a lot more money. You sure drive better than Seymour. <laughs> I haven't felt this much better. So anyway, I'm a trained professional harlequin. You would not getting me to work today. Uh, These my juggernaut drivers are fantastic. But still ain't tipping you. I'm Scottish. What's the matter? You never seen a clown car before? Take me to the power plant, please. Go ahead. So anyway, uh, Krusty has a franchise. Homer looks for new billboards. This clown ain't fooling around. Do you have yeah, my pills? Uh, what do I have to do to make you people happy? Krusty, of course, first franchise. Homer, ready a new billboard date, does everything the new billboards tell him to buy. I feel it. I feel it. coming on. Except the clown college. Hey, hey! Hi, Diddly. Oh, there. Take me to the shopping mall. I gotta go to work. But, of course, a lot of factors make Homer think about the Klein College, so he decides to enroll himself in the Klein College. And Homer does okay. He sometimes, somehow graduates, so tries to avoid the drug buzzer that Krusty gives out at the end of yeah, the competition. Oh, no, Mr. Genie. Can you take me somewhere to eat? But he gets really blown. Oh, I once nailed a groupie there. 
it gets blown up. That's the heck of it. So anyway, Krusty. Oh boy, there's another lawsuit. So anyway, so Homer becomes a Krusty for Springfield. There's it. Unfortunately, Krusty doesn't do anything good with his money. He backs everything he made from the corn college from the Washington Generals. We all know how much they suck. So basically, it was just the end of Oh, fun! Now let's get there in time. Yes. One thousand dollars for a bridge. And there's Barney. Wow, right. So anyway, good job by Crest. So anyway, Homer is in trouble with the mob because of all that money. So he flies to he flies to Switzerland to try to change his face. But unfortunately, Homer gets caught up in it. Well, after Homer fouls never to oh, I think I just melted myself. Do it again. So Homer decides not to be trusted the clown after being abused by a kid at Little House's birthday party. So basically he gets claimed to be trusted the clown. Oh, seventy two hundred. So anyway, Homer then learns he gets perks getting out of tickets from Chief Wakeham, getting some half-off stuff from Apu, even dirty magazines. So of course, Krusty, Homer dressed as Krusty gets caught up in the mob mentality. In fact, Tony takes him away. And then Krusty, hey, the real Krusty, you know decides after his first search botched the operation, making him a woman, he decides to decide and say, I'll take but I, I'll take the punishment from Fat Tony. So anyway, um, not knowing Homer is in danger, thanks to Krusty's troubles. But Krusty and Homer do perform a bicycle trick, which saves Krusty. Well, it's a fantastic time, and we're back with Road Rage, and now I got Ned at the nuclear plant, and this is basically next episode when he loses his mind. I don't know why I never got to that this one. But anyway, it starts with the Simpsons at a nature preserve, but what happens is that the nature preserve lost some land to a street to a racetrack. So the Simpsons decide to race at the racetrack. Ah, anyway. Oh, I sure can't wait to help out all those needy people. Hello, friend, where to? Power plant. So, anyway, Ned. Hold on tight, friend. I thought I had it. Oh. There they are. Oh, come on, Ned. Copy there. Report of call. Yeah. Flanders at your service. Work time to the mall. So anyway, um, so basically they see a race and everyone wants to see a car crash. And they kind of do. Eventually. So anyway, they decided to have a promotion or pandemonium asking anyone if they want a t-shirt or not. <laughs> so nice. <laughs> so basically, it's hard. Hello, friend. Where to? I need to get to the community center right away. Slow and steady wins the race. So anyway, um, the Simpsons end up. The 
Simpsons end up right near the Flanders kids. We want to move up closer, but Ned says we're in the we're not in the way of the of the drivers cursing and all that. And so Lisa and well, hop right in, friend. To the power plant, well, technically, please. Lisa and Bart decide to teach me. You know, Rod and Todd. For one for old Nettie. Thanks for the lift. It's Ned. Hello, Reverend. Great sermon last week. Lots of fire and brimstone. Oh, you're too tired. Take me away from this den of iniquity to where I care not. The slow and steady wins the race. There you go. Hallelujah. Well, hop right in, friend. Hello there. Please take me to the power plant office so I can collect this month's drive. Hold on tight, friend. My second thing now. That was a superb trip. Drop by my office and I'll give you the key to the city. Old Nettie will take you the rest of the way. Do you have my pills? Oakley doakley do. Well, anyway. So Maude decides, so Maude decides to, um... Oh, Nettie will take you the rest of the way. Hey, hey! <laughs> so anyway, and dry. during the yeah, t-shirt day, Homer body. swings himself to and from. He jiggles right in front of Homer and Maude, and Maude decides to go get hot dogs for the family. After not wanting to see Homer's torso. So anyway, horse... So anyway... Whoops. Well, hop right in, friend. Baseball diamond. I got a lot of money riding on a game. Hold on tight, well, friend. Well, anyway. So basically, Ned tells her, don't get any more foot loans because they make him uncomfortable. So anyway. Homer decides to get... Well, Homer you have a decides to make a, um... Hello, friend, where to? Homer decides... Oakley, oakley, do. See you later, computator. If I'd known you'd be this slow, I would've won. Ned Flanders at your service. So, anyway, Homer... So, anyway, Homer makes his bullseye, and basically, that just means... T-shirts are ready to fly right at them. For one for old Nettie. Thank you for taking me what I needed to go. Hello, friend, where's he? Take me to the stream by the plane. Those three eyed fish good eating. That's okay by me. That didn't work. Well, hop right in, friend. Hey, hey. <laughs> so, anyway. Slow and steady wins the race. So, anyway, um... Once Homer sees the, the t-shirts, he's ready to catch them, but all of a sudden he gets distracted by Bobby Pin. Hey, hey! Here you go, friend. You're the worst driver I've ever seen. And I've driven with Mickey Rooney. All right. With one second left, I knew I was toast. Oh, $8,000. Well, that's not bad. So anyway, um... So once Homer runs down to pick up a Bobby Pin, Nat, uh, Mod gets t shirt pulled in front of her and she goes right over the edge of the of the stands and she's pronounced dead. Ned doesn't hey, know what to do. And Bart complains that he's now forced to play with Rod and Todd because, you know, you don't want to be anywhere near those two guys. So anyway, they decide to play a Bible video game together. Well Bart is hogging the controller of course. Come on, come so basically, on. Well, we're young. he gets the Flanders kids to be happy because they're a team, even though they want to play. So, Homer decides to talk to, I mean, Ned decides to talk to Homer during his first night alone. And they talk about it. But Homer, Homer then blames himself for what, what happened. Because if, if he hadn't jailed himself in front of Maude, Maude would not ever have left the seat. If he hadn't picked up the bobby pin because of Homer's fascination with shiny things, Homer would not have ducked and then the teachers would not be flying mud. And if Homer hadn't parked in the ambulance spot, 
by mistake, then mine would have been resuscitated faster. Basically, I had posed a question on YouTube saying, what would Homer, what, would, what criminal charge would Homer face? It would be manslaughter. Well, involuntary manslaughter. But who knows, maybe Homer was so mad and dead he wished that his wife was dead. But, you know, involuntary manslaughter. I don't know what the sentence would be. So basically, Ned, Homer tells Ned to start up dating and all that. So he dates like Lindsay Nag on them. Gets so mad at God, he refuses to go to church. But then he repents. Relents. And then finds out he sees Rachel Jordan. So, big job there. Oh, wait, who am I supposed to get? Oh, Grandma. Okay. I'm out of time on it because I've only got 14 minutes left on my memory card. So basically, i got about six minutes to do Grandpa. Uh, maybe around five and a half minutes, I'll probably just tank. But anyway, um, this Grandpa story kind of is involved Homer, too. It's, it's a story of a bug of the dog. Now, let me explain. Um, Homer loses Santa's little helper and doesn't care much about him. But it's revealed, thanks to Grandpa and some new medication that makes him feel better, is that Homer actually had a dog named Bongo. So Homer... So basically Bongo was always there to help baby Homer out. And calm him down. So basically... Um, No idea you could drive so fast. Over. Hello, son. Hop on in. Get off my chest, will you? So, anyway, um. So, basically, Grandpa was just being his own, his selfish Ooh, self. Oh, did I do something wrong? No. Get out of my motor car. Way to ignore the speed limit. Hot diggity. Let's go, go, go. There we go. That was so fast. Digs as jerky as a dip. Coming, you Got. Time's a wasting. So basically, uh. Um, the future. Whoa. Oh, it's folks. How can I get on top of that bus? Warp speed. I know, I know. So regardless of what happened, um. Basically, Bongo was always there for Homer and all that. Especially with Mona leaving Abe. And even leaving... And even leaving a, a message for him. A picture of her leaving. While packing his ba her bags while Abe watches Mannix. So anyway, Bongo was pretty much Homer's best friend. And, and then when the nuclear power plant opened up, it's always... Like, so concerning, when did the power plant actually open up, per se? Although in season 12, we learned... You wouldn't carry me to work today. What year is this? Season, in season 12, we learned that, um... Oh, I didn't get the fat thing. You're already just getting eaten away out in the streets of Glasgow. Take me away from this den of iniquity to where I care not. So oh! I'm talking while I'm driving. What? I thought the car was falling. Lord, they have patience, but I do not. Oh. Okay. Right, Let me guess. Oh. You I need to get to the power plant. Back in my day, we called sandwiches. Well, but regardless. Because poor people. So basically. A Springfield power plant. This is the greatest moment of my job life. Please tell me. Why is everything so dark? Well, you have cataracts. The power plant runoff thing, please. I need to collect the three-eyed fish for my sidekick. No talking while I'm driving. There you go. Thank you for the adequate ride. Not too bad, not too slow. Hey, hey! <laughs> Whoa! Shut up and drive! Get out and shut up! Oh, come on! How did that tree set make me fall back? Well, regardless, so Homer... So what happened is that... Bye! Oh, no, I'm alone! Uh, well, or... oh, well, you drive worse than Mr. Teeny! Ah! 
It's Marge. Oh, you look like you could use a ride. Hello, Abe. So anyway, Homer gets a duck toy and decides to give it to Bongo, but Mr. Burns is not too pleased, saying that it's not for children. And when he insults Homer, Bongo, in his protective role, decides to bite Mr. Burns' hand. Burns fouls with friends. She didn't think we were going to make it, did you? Or what happened? Goodness, that was so fast. But, but he learns be... that he shouldn't be saying those things, things because uh, there's children present. Orders. So he decides to get Krusty the Clown to do his... Oh, I got the five seconds. That was adequate. Suck your neck. Hi, Bobby. Hi, Dr. Nick. I'm afraid of the future. So anyway, um, Burns puts a hit out for Bongo. Burns puts a hit out for Bongo and hires Chief Wiggum in his role as dog catcher to catch the dog. But regardless. Chief Wiggum, of course, is an act and all that. And we learn that Chief Wiggum only becomes who wants to be Chief of Police because his job shadow, Lou, wanted to... Oh, shoot. I'm going to have to tank. I'm going to have to tank because I'm running near the end of my clock. So, oh well, it was a nice bungalow episode anyway.